Thank you for listening today on Revealing Wholeness, sponsored by Infinity Whole Health. Check out our website at infinitywholehealth.com, where we are revealing the eternal in each individual, the infinite in the individual. The creativity is made manifest. Limitation is let go. Now, here's your host, Dr. Troy Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. And this month of April 2021 is allergy month. This is when they kind of start kicking in. Just had a client, case in point, said we had some warm weather the last three or four days, early early uh, April, late, late March, and their allergies are horrible. And they feel awful and they were dragging at work and they want to know what to do. That's kind of a more seasonal, a bit easier case really to, to kind of help with. But those of you out there that are taking medication or getting allergy shots and have for years. And if you get off your medication, if you don't do your shots, you are literally miserable. Your head is so full. You have headaches. You can't see hardly out of your eyes. These are the tough cases this particular podcast is about. So catch some of our videos on some of your favorite video channels and you'll find that, hey, I've got a a more simplistic allergy message there for those that just have kind of the seasonal stuff. Uh, a bit more simplistic. They don't take allergy medication all the time, or maybe you mow the yard and your eyes get kind of a little itchy, or you you don't feel so good, or your nose runs a bit. But I'm, this this particular podcast is for those that are just absolutely miserable, and I have those. Just had a client that was trying to get off allergy medication because she knew she just didn't want to take that anymore, and we've been working for about two to three months, really prepping her body. And as she came off this medication and her allergies are really bad, hard to sleep, hard to get any rest, a lot of fatigue, we double, tripled her dose. And she's within three or four or five days, she's like, okay, I'm, I feel sane. And now that she's been kind of through the last two weeks, she's like, I have no symptoms. I can't even believe it. I'm not taking allergy medication and I'm, I'm really good. And we've done some heavy lifting on her in terms of diet and other things. So if you're like, man, I wish that could be me. Could that possibly be me? Yes, it can be you. But we've got to acknowledge some things like some other podcasts I've talked about. The real where the rubber meets the road to try to get any kind of condition under control is going to acknowledge that whatever you've likely been doing to this point in your diet and your life and your thinking has got you where you are now. And to go somewhere brand new is going to take new thinking, new diet, new foods, new food choices, new ideas in your head. So I'm just prepping you where you where you'd want to go if you want a real fix we can continue to do medication and shots and just limp things along that's that's been done hundreds if not thousands if not hundreds of thousands of times with people all over the United States as well as in other countries so this is for the the heavy duty people now first and foremost this is the wild thing whenever we find the body under stress we're going to find respiratory issues abound so let's say you maybe had asthma when you were young maybe you didn't maybe you know somebody who has asthma Maybe you know an older person that has asthma. That is going to be partly an adrenal issue. And allergies are oftentimes an adrenal issue. And if you catch my other videos, you're going to hear me talk about chiropractic. When we adjust somebody as a chiropractor, we're literally unloading their nervous system of stress. Stress is what gets our vertebra out of alignment and now makes us not feel good in multiple ways, not just neck and back pain, but in all different ways. Our heart not functioning well, our digestive system not functioning well, um, sore throats, immune challenges, high blood pressure. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And as we address the nervous system and realign those vertebra, we immediately take pressure off of the entire body and the systems, the communication systems, the muscular system, the joint systems, and then all those nerves in wherever they go into whatever organs is being released. So as we pile up stress in our body, we literally start creating more and more muscle tension, and now it just digs in 
and now my nervous system is affected, and now my liver's not performing well, now my pancreas is not performing well, now my digestive system's not performing well, and all those systems, as they get lower and lower in their abilities, we let more and more toxicity and stressful toxins in through our gut, into our body, and not detoxifying well enough, and now we get worse and worse allergies. So when I tell you that if if chiropractic is not in your your program for allergy relief, it very much should be because most of these heavy duty allergy cases are neurologic in, in nature and the adrenal glands are the biggies. What are adrenal glands? I mean, everybody talks about adrenals. Oh, my adrenal fatigue, blah, blah, blah. Well, adrenal glands look like brain tissue. In fact, outside of the brain, it's the one tissue that we say is is so closely related to brain tissue, it might as well be like a miniature brain outside the body. But our adrenal glands sit right on top of our kidneys. So you kind of get in the area of the body, kind of that lower mid-back area at the end of our ribs. Well, the adrenals, they handle mostly stress. What do they want? Adrenals to function well need lots of, of good solid trace minerals, but also vitamin C. They use a lot of vitamin C. And vitamin C is its core. If you've been around and listened to my other podcasts, you found out that vitamin C was actually natural copper. And adrenals use a lot of zinc because we're producing some hormones out of the adrenals that tend to run our body, whether it's handling stress or whether it's doing other things to try and get blood pressure up. The adrenals do a lot of a lot of little things, but mostly handling stress, and they produce a lot of different hormones. Whether it's cortisol or epinephrine or norepinephrine, uh, they're just doing these things all the time for us, and we don't even acknowledge them. But when we become depleted of nutrition, we now start our adrenals cannot perform, and so they start robbing from our pituitary our gonads, meaning testes or ovaries, male, female. And then finally, when all those glandulars go down, those glands go down, we now punish the thyroid. So if you've already got a thyroid issue and you've got allergies, just know that they're kind of related and that your thyroid problem likely started out as an adrenal fatigue issue. And so it's just compounded over time. So when I start supporting adrenals with people that have really bad allergies, we've got to do some healing and some prep that way, which is really kind of funny because if you think about the lungs, what do the lungs want? Well, they want vitamin C and vitamin A and um, nutrients that are almost identical to what our adrenals would want too. So when I start supporting adrenals and start filling those up, all of a sudden I'm giving lung support naturally. And so, hey, my lungs are better. My allergies are, are seeming a little bit better as we're going along this process. We really get a handle on the adrenals. We're going to find that all of a sudden, hey, this is not a bad allergy season, but you'll check pollen counts and stuff and they'll be through the roof like normal. And so we're going to find your body start to get stronger. And all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm sleeping better. And I, it seems like I can handle the stress at work better. So it's really we start, we start pouring out attention onto your adrenal glands. Now we actually take pressure off the sex hormones as well as the pituitary. The pituitary's job is to run repair in the body, producing um, growth hormones as well as controlling the other systems of our body. So the endocrine system is a very powerful system in the human body and when we start supporting it with trace minerals, high vitamin A, high vitamin C, other components to it, we start seeing some really nice changes in allergy symptoms and your ability to handle the stress in your life. So for those of you out there that are really wanting to to go to a different place, you're, you're really tired of taking allergy medications, you're really tired of getting allergy shots and getting all these tests that point to all these different weird things that you're allergic to, you may want to seriously start digging in to your adrenals. And how do I begin to start, start supporting that? What's high vitamin C foods that I could be putting in my diet? What are high vitamin A foods that I could be putting in my diet? Where can I get a lot of zinc? Where can I get trace minerals? So these are things that I deal with on a daily basis with a lot of clients. How many people out there have adrenal fatigue? I'm sure if we Googled it right now, it's probably over 40%. There's a lot of people out there. How many people have seasonal allergies? 80%. I mean, it's a lot of people. So those of you that are in, uh, you know, great, I'm one of those that are really seriously 
unhappy and I got really bad, bad allergies. Okay, so you're going to be a, an adrenal component in my office as well. So if you're wanting a little bit more information about that, if some of this kind of hit home that, yeah, I've been under a lot of stress or, hey, my allergies did get really bad after I was under a ton of stress for you know a year, that is going to be you. And so until we replete or get back into your body all those nutrients, we may find that it's not a whole lot of help. So we will look for that in the future for you. Now, just a couple things that you might want to know. Other um, adrenal issues, you might have blood sugar imbalances. So let's say you're already borderline diabetic. That would be partly adrenal fatigue too. Any other type of respiratory disorders, maybe you get chronic coughs, maybe you get pneumonia every couple of years. Maybe you have fast heart rate or you feel nervous or maybe you have chronic fatigue. All of this is adrenal stuff. Perhaps you have even a oh, reaction to certain vegetables that you used to not have reactions to. And ultimately, you're going to find out that some of those vegetables you react to are going to be high potassium uh, filled vegetables because potassium is used by the adrenals quite a little bit. So watch for little things like that. Maybe you get a lot of illnesses. Every time an illness goes around, you get it. Well, that's going to be partly adrenal fatigue as well. So those are at least some side notes to, to maybe be looking at when it comes to adrenal issues. So until next time, I hope that helps for those of you that have really tough allergies. Please listen to our other videos and other podcasts on allergies. It'll give you kind of a window into things that you can do. But for the tough cases, we're going to have to go out after your adrenals and it's not going to be an easy fix. This is a long haul process, but you might as well start today. So if that's you, please give me a, a call or shoot me a text or an email. Whatever way you want to contact me is, is awesome. And until next time, I'm Dr. Troy Munson on Revealing Wholeness. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach Dr. Munson at 360-893-8586 or email him at chiroman at dr.com. That's C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N at dr.com. Check out our current workshop schedule on Facebook at Infinity Whole Health.